Hi, Dan from Eviatrics here. Today we're going to talk a little bit about why I prefer the in-car navigation over uh, Apple CarPlay, Google Maps, or Waze. So let's get into this points of interest menu, which is one of my favorites and one of the reasons why I prefer the system. We're not going to start with map. We're going to start with the navigation menu. Now you can always navigate simply by asking the car to drive to you know, whatever location be, LA, Washington, DC, Miami, whatever. Uh, and that's very powerful and it'll add charging stops and a lot of other things. But right now I wanna talk about a part of the menu that no one talks about very often and that's the navigation window. Uh, when, you pr when you come up to the navigation window, you've got a, a bunch of other things, previous destinations and save places and dealerships, but the nearby POIs is the powerful one. So if you go, this, this screen over here is a brand new screen. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, so what comes up here are your nearby POIs or your charging stations, which shows me my charging stations. Now, right now I have the filter set, so it only shows me DC fast chargers, but I can go in here. If for some reason I want to see if there's any level two charges, I'm just going to set this at zero. That means this is zero to 50 kilowatts. 50 to 100 kilowatts, 150 kilowatts and over. So let's set it to zero. That'll show me my level two chargers. Now when I go up, the list shows me all my level two chargers close by. And if I go down the list far enough, I'll eventually find uh, here at the bottom of the list, a, a, a DC fast charger. So um, I kind of keep mine at least around home. The level two is filtered out because I'm only really on most routes, only gonna be worried about uh, DC fast chargers. And if I have a destination programmed in, I can choose near my current position, near my destination or along my route, which is all important, right? Uh, along the route near current position or near destination. So let's go back for a second. Gas stations is a legacy. Part of this software is legacy from the gas industries or the gas cars. So we don't really care about that unless we need snacks, then we might. Okay, parking. If you're anywhere, you might wanna know where parking is close by. Um, you can filter this by all parking, open parking areas, parking garages or park and rides. Let's go back to this. Uh, cafes, Carol and I are coffee drinkers and really when we're on the road a lot we're that's the first thing we're looking for is where can we get a latte in the morning so cafes brings up uh the cafe menus these are all cafes close to our home um whoops let's go back to there for a second let's see what we can filter that by so uh, so we can actually filter in or out things like uh, tim hortons which i don't think there are any here but across the border just about 100 miles north there's tons, Caribou Coffee, um, Big B Coffee, Pete's Coffee, Starbucks. All those can be filtered in or out. Maybe you only want to go to Starbucks. I can't imagine why, but, you know, I probably shouldn't have that attitude living in Seattle. Okay, fast food, same thing. International and national chains, they can be filtered by, you know, filter out McDonald's or Taco Bell or Little Caesars or whatever you want. Um, so if there's something you hate, you can just filter it out ahead of time. Um, restaurants is bigger restaurants, convenience stores, you know, uh, maybe you need a uh, 7-Eleven or a liquor store or whatever. Those are all in there. Once again, you could filter that out by name to a certain degree. Let's go back. Uh, shopping and grocery stores, pharmacies. Now when we're on road trips, Often we, you know, we have uh, needs for prescriptions to be filled or for, you know, some cold pills or whatever. So pharmacies are really important to find. Now, let's say uh, now there's no way to filter these. So what you see is going to what you're going to get on that one. But it is near your current position, near your destination or along your route. So uh, that's also important. Uh, banks. ATMs probably more than banks because, you know, most of us these days do our banking online. So, but we do need to get cash along the way. So knowing where an ATM is, is great. 
Um, hotels, restaurants, uh, same thing. Hospitals. Now, hospitals could be very important in case of an emergency. Knowing where the nearest hospital is and how to get there is super important. Um, same with police stations, not so much. But you, may, you might want to know how to get to a police station nearby. And if you don't want to go to a police station, if you bump on it, it, it brings up the address, but also the telephone number of the local precinct. So maybe you don't want to dial 911. Maybe you want to make an informational call or get some information. Just dial that number. Let's go back. Super important. Um, roadside assistance is going to be towing companies. Uh, now, if you want to get information on the towing company, you can uh, actually click over here on this menu. I think if you, at some point, you click on the little thing and it'll give you the telephone number for the place and the address. Now, Carol and I, when we're on the road, we often uh, want to uh, find a post office. Carol is a postcard sender and, uh, you know, her friends and loved ones love that, love getting a postcard from her. So we're always in search of a, of a post office. Now you can, uh, you know, type it in or you can do the verbal command. Find a U.S. post office clear by. Oops. <laughs> cancel. <laughs> See if it'll cancel before it. Please say the line number well, of the location. Even though I screwed it up, it's still got the post office. And by clicking on any Sorry, one of these post offices, I can it'll would you like guidance to this location. Yes, I would like to be guided to that. Okay, so it's going to give me driving directions to my post office. Um now let's look at that side panel for just a second. The this charging side panel uh will show a charging close by now. Right now, I've, I added that um, that level uh, the level two charger. So this is actually a level two charger. Actually, Ballard Blocks has both. Let's go ahead and click on that. Let's see here more. Um, let's go to this. It'll give me several other ones close by. Let's go to this Fred Meyer. We're gonna add as a stop, not root. So this will take me on my. Normal route, which was to the post office, but it's added that Fred Meyer as a stop, which is great. Now, if I push my route, it'll it'll go all into my map. But let's say I change my mind. If I just hold my finger on that, it allows, whoops. Uh, edit route, let's see here. There we go. You can change the order. I can move the order around, make it the final destination of the po the post office, the uh, uh, waypoint, I can show it on the map or I can delete it. So let's just delete it. Now it's deleted. Now our route is going to be back just to the post office and I put in done. So this is super powerful. I, uh, I recommend it um, over, I mean, all the more information that you just easily at your fingertips that's not available um, from Apple Maps, Google Maps, or ways, and I I know you can ask for uh, Apple Maps or ways to show you all those things, but it's not as fast as calling up the list and um, looking at you know the amount of information that's available to me. Now these gas stations, you know, there are reasons to go to a gas station that uh, that don't include getting gas. So um, just the ability to see all these at one thing and go, oh, I, I need, I only go to 76s, so I, or filter out what you need. All that is very powerful. Um, and I hope that that helps you slightly understand why I really prefer this system over Apple CarPlay, Google Maps, or Waze. So that's it for now. If you like this, subscribe.